Hey, Shad here with Speed Addicts, the fastest growing gear site on the web. Today, we're going to uncrate the Biltwell Gringo SV. What's up, Speed Addicts fan? Before we jump in and break down the latest release from Biltwell, do us a favor subscribe to that Speed Addicts channel. It does you a favor too. You're going to stay up to date on the latest gear coming your way. We're always working hard here at Speed Addicts to not only educate you, but give you that first look at the latest gear. If you subscribe, you're not going to miss out. Also, if you'd like to support us here at speedaddicts.com, you could do so by simply shopping with us. Now, why go spend your money with those corporate monoliths? You know who I'm talking about. Support an independent outfit like Speed Addicts, where we really appreciate your business. That link is in the description, and it'll take you right over to this new built well gringo sv which is quite bitchin looking and while you're over there feel free to shop for any other parts or gear you might need for your next two-wheel adventure so built well in case you're not familiar they're actually based out of socal uh down here in temecula or not far from us and uh they specialize in v-twin helmets or vintage classic retro you know it's the look it's a vibe they also do some accessories now they do uh, a few different things, some gloves, some bags, but really the bread and butter from Biltwell is going to be their helmets. Uh, we actually have one that's a permanent fixture here in the studio. That's one of the open face bonanza helmets. And But the Gringo with the face shield, the Gringo S is over here. This is the predecessor and this is the new Gringo SV. Okay, hopefully I made that clear. So the Gringo S was always a very popular option because it gave you that retro vibe but you actually got a face shield as opposed to this the the raw gringo that didn't have that face shield it was a three snap riding experience so the gringo s very popular we have high hopes for this new gringo sv and we are going to break it all down for you we're going to show you what changed what's new the upgrades the first thing we're going to tell you about is going to be the price tag so they're keeping it relatively affordable at 299 dollars that's pretty similar to a lot of the other polycarb vintage helmets out on the market today, be it from Simpson, Scorpion, you name it. There's a, a, it's a little bit of a crowded feel. A lot of people are kind of going at this demo lately. Uh, so $299 makes one yours. It's polycarbonate shell, as I just mentioned, which means it's not super light, but not super heavy, kind of around that three and a half pound mark. And it is DOT and ECE 2206. That last number is the important part because it's an upgrade from the 2205 testing regimen out of Europe. ECE is that European standard, and the EC2206 standard is a step up. The helmet manufacturers are all switching over to that standard. They're either making new helmets or doing running changes to old helmets to pass that standard. Now, that standard is more strict. There's actually four drop tests that the helmet has to pass instead of one. And it's pushing the manufacturer to create a safer helmet. So when we see both that DOT for the United States, meaning it's street legal here, and that dual homologation with that European standard, the new 2206, it's something we really like to see from a safety standpoint on helmets that are coming out right now. The shape is intermediate oval. And I'm not finding this helmet to run about a half size small. I usually wear an extra large and it's really just not quite there for me. I need to step up to an, a 2X in this helmet. So when you go to that sizing chart, I recommend rounding up about a half size. Some vintage helmets kind of fit like that. Uh, the chin bar in particular just seemed a little close on me. So I need to move up and that would be my recommendation to you. You will see sizes extra small through two extra large. So you bigger heads are kind of out of the equation. I'm like seven and five eighths, uh, 24 inch circumference and I'm in the two extra large. So if you're much bigger than that, you probably need to look for a different solution. Now, when it comes to fit and shopping for helmets online, we know it doesn't always work out perfectly the first time. Not only do we have experts to help you through the process, but if you shop with Speed Addicts, we are going to cover you with no cost returns. So no drama, no nickel and diming you on that return shipping label. We're just gonna treat you like family. You're gonna go to the site, a couple clicks, you get that free return label, make it very easy to get a different size, different color, or just your money back if you decide that particular helmet is not for you. To qualify, you need to live in the lower 48 states and make sure the gear is brand new with all the original tags, bags, and goodies. Okay, enough with my shameless plugs. Let's get back to the matter at hand. It is the Biltwell Gringo SV. So I'm gonna put these side by side and we are going to go over a few of the things that have changed 
and then we'll get back to just the new SV itself. So first up, you're gonna notice a Chrome delete. Chrome is getting deleted from things lately, if you haven't noticed, be it cars or motorcycle helmets. So the Chrome trim around the eye port is gone. The Chrome trim around the bottom is gone. We've gone with a more modern silicon uh, look here on both of them, that kind of matte black look, which is the vibe lately. So I like that. You're gonna also notice the primary change is that they gave you ventilation. That's quite nice because let's face it, when you're on the uh, the steed, you're basically stretched out over a hot motor. If you're in an area that gets warm, humid, it's been a hot summer, ventilation is nice. So having that vintage look, but with a more modern ventilation package is going to pay you dividends out on the road. So you have those forehead vents, but you also have the gill vents down below. And if we turn these around, you're gonna notice you have a full exhaust vent. The old Gringo SV was completely sealed system, which is not great. Now they both still have what I would call a leaky face shield. So despite the new helmet having a weather strip instead of chrome strip, it's not making full contact with this face shield. So if you're sensitive to air coming through a face shield, your eyes are sensitive or something to the air, some people don't like that, this is not the helmet for you. You are gonna get air leakage and uh, there's just no avoiding that with the way the tolerances are built on this helmet, if you can see, see through there, okay? Uh, so that's one of the other main things. And the way the visor uh, attaches to the helmet, it used to, used to use one of these buttons, kind of like the three snap visor buttons. Now, this is annoying because it rattle. Oh, you like that while your bike's idling? I don't, that'd drive me nuts. So they've gone to the snap where the face shield actually has a cutout and it just drops over the snap, which I've seen a bunch of other helmets over the years. This is the better way to do it. The interior, in terms of the fit and finish and kind of just the materials used are very similar between the helmets. So that about does it on the updates. Let's get back to the newer SV and we'll set the old dog aside. One of the things that Biltwell does well is they're always coming out with new color schemes. We all know the Nardo Gray is very popular these days, so we grabbed that one out here today, but you can expect them to iterate and come out with new candy colors, um, new designs, new collaborations, all sorts of cool stuff. So we have an injection molded polycarbonate face shield that is anti-scratch, anti-fog, there's no pin lock system, but because like I said, it doesn't seal super well, there's gonna be air moving through this fog, it's probably not going to be your biggest problem. Ventilation system, you have two switches up on the forehead. You can set them in three different settings here, depending on how much airflow you're going to want. Down below, these are passive vents, which means they're always open and they dump right into the cheek pads. There's actually a cutout there to keep the uh, bottom of your head cool. Once we open the helmet up, that will make more sense. And then of course, I already showed you this exhaust port in the back. So you get a true Venturi exhaust get that hot air getting sucked out of the helmet and the cool air rushing back in. The hinge system or pivot kit as we call it in the biz is going to be detented and they are robust. So here is your first one, second one, and finally all the way open. So you have a few different options on where that's going to sit. And Biltwell even lets you customize your washer and pivot mechanism. They sell different colors of this as well as a whole spectrum of different face shields, iridium smokes, whatever you're after, you can kind of customize your gringo to fit your taste. That about does it for the outside of the helmet. Let's jump in to the interior. Like I said, EC2206, as well as DOT. And I like the way this uh, face shield locks now. It's a big step up. So let's uh, undo the double D rings. The new design is pretty cool too, with the vents down out here on the side. I was really doing a, a gill style vent on a street helmet. You see them on motocross helmets. And a lot of other companies that are getting into that V-twin look like this, or the vintage look, a lot of them are copying uh, some of the OGs in the business. And I'll, I gotta give Biltwell credit for going out and just coming up with a completely new design and going their own direction. I like that. Okay, here is their their cheek pads set up. They got kind of this perforated look. It is a lycra material, it's nice and soft. It's a decent place to be. 
Generally speaking, the helmet's eyeglass compatible. Of course, that will depend on the type of glasses you're running. Another nice thing, both of the Gringos have speaker pockets, so it's ready to receive a comm system if you wanna run it, and you will not have any issues mounting your comm system on the Gringo SV. There's nothing to get in your way here, which is great. Nice big speaker pocket. It will accommodate the larger JBL speakers from Cardo or whatever system you're using, so you're dialed in there. You notice this little hole here, that is the backside of your gill vent. And if you look at the cheek pad, they've got a little cutout in the plastic here, so you get that airflow coming through your cheek pad and keeping, keeping your mug nice and cool. If we remove the comfort liner, you're going to see a dual density EPS system. And let's show you that real quick. It is channeled so that it flows lots of air over your head. Let's get this out of the way. There you go. And that is the, the rear channel, the uh, exhaust. And then on the front, you'd see those two massive ducts that are going to let that uh, forehead crown vent get air onto your face. To your warranty from Billwell. That does it for the SV, the new Gringo SV. You're getting a modern ventilation system and the latest safety standard, as well as just an overall styling update, which I think was quite successful. If you still have questions, Rider Support is standing by and uh, they can help you out over the phone, email, or live chat. Once you get one of these SVs in your hand, sound off in the comment section below. Everybody will appreciate that. That's all I got for you. See you next time to find out what's in the crate.